Hi all, hope you guys are enjoying your life to the fullest. Your boy Al is here with Undead Unluck episode for review so let's start. At first we see Mui tell Shin that Gina is preparing to engage in a battle with Andy and Fuko at Lake Baikal. Gina confirms that she apprehended Andy and monitored him four decades ago. There is a light-hearted exchange between Andy and Gina as he teases her about her age. Gina confesses her enduring affection for Andy and advises Fuko to stay out of their conflict. Gina reminisces about the time she captured Andy in the past. Although she was frustrated by the situation, Andy felt it was a fair loss. He also mentions that if he ever escapes, he'd like to have a rematch with Gina. So it seems Gina is a good person in reality and she was just doing her job when she captured Andy. We see Gina is drawn to Andy due to his nonchalant attitude during their previous encounter. She's disappointed that Shin had the chance to meet Andy before her, but she's ecstatic that Void is now gone, leaving a spot available for Andy. She's adamant about not letting Foko join them because she wants Andy exclusively for herself. As they search for a more suitable battleground, Andy confides in Foko that his former war companions have passed away. During the battle, Andy effortlessly evades most of Gina's attacks and assesses her combat abilities. Gina admits to sending the projectiles to their yacht and expresses her desire for Foucault's demise. The in-between comedy of this anime might be off-putting for many people but I'm finding the humor to be refreshing somehow. Then we see Andy is determined to shield Foucault from Gina's demands, even if it means giving his life for her. Gina, on the other hand, is determined to take Andy's head and make him stay with her. During their battle, Andy discovers that Gina possesses an ability he calls Unchange, which can prevent objects from altering their form. In an effort to gain the upper hand, he employs two of his techniques to create a bloody environment and leverages Foucault's ability to generate unluck, hoping to gain an advantage in his confrontation with Gina. Gina is initially surprised by Foucault's provocative behavior but remains confident in her unchanging appearance. I'm loving the power system of this show so far because the powers are being used in some very unique ways and they are quite detailed. Next we see that as Andy scrutinizes Gina's abilities, she becomes increasingly agitated by Fuko and Andy's unconventional position. When Andy and Fuko inadvertently collide with an invisible barrier Gina has erected over the lake, she reveals that her initial mission was to investigate a UMA sighting on behalf of the Union. However, she has now redirected her attention towards Fuko. Following a discussion about their differing viewpoints on change, Andy and Fuko develop a clever plan, which they then employ to overcome Gina. I was honestly shocked to see how far Andy went to defeat Gina, because it's pretty clear that they had a really good relationship. At the end we see Fuko tries to stop Andy from taking Gina's life. Andy mentions that Gina doesn't have much time left. Gina reminisces about her life within the Union and reflects on Foucault's artwork. She contemplates the idea that change might not be such a bad thing and ultimately urges Andy and Foucault to let her go, as their positions are now secured. Andy embraces Gina tightly. This anime keeps making my jaw hit the floor, I mean they killed Gina off after making us think she is an important character. Nonetheless, Another good episode with an unexpected twist at the end and I can't really predict what's gonna happen next anymore. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video and wanna see me make more then hit the like button and subscribe, if you wanna say something then leave a comment, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.